How do you play Roadhouse Blues by The Doors on harmonica? I'm going to show you right now. Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we're looking at Roadhouse Blues by The Doors. Today we're using a diatonic harmonica in the key of A. This is the key of harmonica that you would need to play along with the original record. So let's have a listen to the first section of the track. Okay, so we've got that uh, big chunky guitar riff and then the harp comes in with this Okay, so uh, our lick there Basically, it's the two draw three times, and then you've got the four blow and then the three draw. Okay, so the notes themselves aren't that confusing, but the timing is a little bit weird because you're on the upbeat, the offbeat, that kind of halfway point between the beats for those two draws. So you've got one, two, three, four, one. And it's worth just looping that to get used to the timing. Ba 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 da da ba 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 da da. Um, and actually, that's what the harp does. So it basically plays that four times. The last time that it plays it um, actually kind of goes into the the second half of this intro. We'll talk about that in a minute. But that's our first line basically. You might find it easier, maybe, to do the three blow than the two draw. The two draw and the three blow are the same note on the harmonica. I've put the two draw, but you might find the three blow means you don't have to move as much. The other thing to mention is the four blow is a bit loose. It's not a completely clean four, four blow, so it's kind of more... So it kind of... So you may be hearing the three or maybe hearing the five even, probably the three and the four together. I've written it as a four because I think melodically that's what he's aiming for. Apparently it was John Sebastian from The Loving Spoonful playing this guitar part. Um, guitar part? Harmonica part. So um, yeah, that, that's who I believe it is. The other thing is the three draw is you could bend that three draw to make it more a uh, the flattened third, so kind of part of the blues scale, which would make it less major. I've listened to the record plenty of times and it sounds like not much of a bend at all, if anything, to me. But to make it a proper blues lick, sort of a um, minor pentatonic scale or blues scale, you could bend that note a half step. Okay, so anyway, that's the option. You'll notice on the tab, I've got harp one and harp two written. That's because sounds like there's uh, there's two harmonica tracks on there and they're playing over the top of each other. The second harp is just a kind of a wailing thing down the bottom end. I've also heard different mixes of this song. One of them, uh, has them of equal volume or maybe even the second harp higher volume louder in the mix the the version that I'm giving you is kind of I think the more interesting harp version um, and the version that I'm listening to and the version I'll put in the description as a link is the one where harp one is louder and harp two is quieter let's just have a listen to see if you can hear the second harmonica in, in the um, record, down the bottom end is playing a kind of a bend on hole one. So the first harp 
is doing that riff. But there is another harp going. Basically playing the one draw and then bending it. So I've put it in the tab, but it's not really what we're looking at. That's a, an added extra, if anything. Okay, so what does our main harp part do next? Let's have a listen. Okay, so we've got this really cool... It's really cool. And our first uh, part that we're going to play is... So we're going to play three draw, four blow, and then we're going to play four draw, bend it down and slide down to the two draw. Two, three, four, one. If I slow that down. Okay. And it does that three times. After the third time, we've got a, a slight variation. So the same tab uh, up to the two draw and then we've got a three draw, probably with a half step bend, twice, and then a two draw again. Okay. So let me play that uh, second section for you. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, so that's the bulk of the intro. There's a couple of other things I just want to um, talk through with you just to complete this. Okay, so I'll just play through that intro for you and then we'll talk about the extra bits as well. One, two, three, four, one. So there's a couple more things I just want to mention. There is this kind of lick that goes throughout the song, just a... Which is basically that first line of the intro. You'll hear that throughout the song. And then there's also some little call and response between the vocals and the harp. I'm just going to give you the first little line. So the little call and response between the vocal and the harp it does, the harp line varies slightly as it goes through, but there's this, this lick that is worth learning because it kind of works throughout. So something like, Keep your eyes on the road and your hands upon the wheel. That kind of thing. So again, it's a variation of the end of the intro this time, but let's just go through that line just to finish off. So you've got kind of a chordal so draw breath one two three and then probably three and four blowish and then a draw breath again moving back towards the two and three probably okay but then the important part more important in a way of the lick and that's very much locking in with the guitar so you've got the four draw and it bends upwards, so from the bend to the natural note. And then... So bend up on the four, back down and then slide down to the two draw. So again... And then... Three draw half step bend, two draw twice. So the whole line without the chordal bit... Um, 
and again. And then if you put that little chord in at the start, and that works as a really nice response to the vocal lines. The harp does continue with some licks throughout, but it's based around that. So if you've got that, and then the kind of background vamp line, then it'll stand you in good stead for the song. Obviously, the intro is the iconic bit, the really cool bit. So I hope that this has helped you understand that. So that's the harmonica part to Roadhouse Blues by The Doors. I don't know how it's taken me this long into having a YouTube channel to teach this one because it's iconic. People love it, I've had loads of requests for it. So I'm glad I've finally done it. I hope that it's been helpful for you. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on. If you are keen to improve your playing, but you're just not sure where to turn next, then check out my online harmonica school. I have students all around the world, all different levels, interested in all different styles of music, and I have step-by-step -step courses that will help you get to the next level, as well as a forum where you can talk to other players and submit your songs to me for feedback, if you'd like to. Check out the link in the description for a free 30-day trial. Please click like and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Cheers.